Hendrickson. First question from Rod Walker. Hey, Trey, I'm going to call this list out to you, and I just want to get your reaction to it. Um, Aaron Donald, Miles Garrett, Trey Hendrickson. Those are three leading, uh, three guys leading the NFL in sacks. How does that make you feel just even hearing that? Oh, well, the work's not done. We're only eight games in, so um, I'm hungry. You know, I don't think anybody uh, in a race wants to take third. But, uh, you know, that's why uh, fortunate to have, enough to have an opportunity to keep getting after him at these next eight games. Next question from Amy Just. Yeah, in week one, uh, Bruce Arian said that you were the easiest guy uh, on the Saints defensive line to block. Does that give you any added motivation, just billboard material, that type of thing? Uh, no. I, I, what I can say is I'm blessed to have the opportunity to um, prove my supporters right, the people that believe in me, and um, prove the people that uh, don't believe in me wrong. Next question from Doug Mouton. Yeah, hey, Trey, in the second half, when the lead is big and you guys can just tee off and rush the passer, how much fun is that? They kept taking close-up shots, and there was a lot of smiles happening on that field. Well, you know, we were, uh, like, as a D-line, we were fortunate enough to be a part of the uh, keys to victory, you know, getting after the quarterback and affecting Tom, uh, getting him off the spot. So uh, when, you're, when you're doing something like that and being successful at it and the team's winning, um, you know, I, it, it feels good when we're rolling, and it, it's a huge help uh, in the secondary, too. They were all over those guys, and it, it was just a really good team win. Next one from Amy Jess. Yeah, you had three back-to-back-to-back sacks, one negated due to a penalty on that series there. What were you seeing that was just able to allow you to get after Tom three straight times? Uh, well... One of the things we've been talking about is when you're one-on-ones, and uh, I just wanted it more. So, Next question from Rod Walker. Hey, Trey, going back to your uh, your junior year in college when you had that 13 and a half sacks and you were pretty dominant, does this season sort of feel like that to you, just the way you've been able to get to the quarterback so easily? Uh, well, n- yes and no. I mean, it, it's sacking the quarterback something special at any, any level of playing it. Um, but uh, doing it in the NFL is completely different. I mean, there's a lot more that goes into it, and I've been fortunate enough to learn from the guys, you know, like Cam and uh, Alex Okafor on how to study film and dissect things. You didn't have to do that at FAU. But as far as uh, just getting after the quarterback, this is, uh, this is something I was born to do. Next one from Amy Jess. You uh, came up a little gingerly there late in the game. You doing okay? What happened there? Yeah, you know, it's a it's a physical game of football. Everybody gets banged up and bruises. It's just uh I was I was gonna make it to the sidelines. They were telling me to get down, so all good. Next one from Rod Walker. Trey, how special is it just to um, I guess you grew up in that area or whatever. How special is that just to, you know, be back home and, and have that kind of game? Uh well, you know, uh in the NFL it's all about being a professional and you know, if we had to travel all the way to you, know, you can travel across the country. We were in Seattle last year. It doesn't matter where you're at. Um, same mindset, same uh, same attack. Next one from Amy Just. Yeah, it uh, doesn't happen too often that uh, defensive linemen uh, get interceptions. So, uh, what was your reaction uh, to to David's first career pick yesterday? Oh, uh, it was just a. Uh, that was a lot of fun, and he was talking about how he picked off Tom Brady. So. You know, it's just having having a good time on the sidelines. It was great morale, and, you know, couldn't have been to a, a better guy. All right, looks like we're all set. Thank you, Trey. Thank you.